wonder if I could create Git server so I could save progress locally. So why should we to learn how? So the first thing is to start the terminal. Virtually after that, uh, virtually uh, after that, you need the SSH. I mean, virtually this case, I SSHing into the Linux PC. If you if you don't have a SSH set up, uh, you need to use the Linux PC itself uh, because virtually the Linux PC itself. So the first thing is to just uh, log into your computer and then launch the terminal there. So I just log in. Uh, I into the the Linux P um, Linux P PC, and I, after log, log after me logging in, I need to install Git, which is a necessary part. So the first thing is to do sudo apt hyphen get install Git, because I never installed Git on this PC. Then type your uh, sudo password uh, for your user, and which uh, after typing the password, it will automatically start. And it would uh, eventually start downloading the Git. So this uh, would take a while. Eventually, you just wait until it downloads. Uh, it will unpack it, setting it up. Yeah, this is not the real time for this to happen. It would take a one much longer time, depending on your PC uh, and internet connection. So eventually, then I would just go to my home directory. So just do CD. After that, I would do MKDIR Git. Uh, eventually, that would create a Git folder in my home directory. Then I would change my directory to Git. After that, I will mkdir git repo dot git. Then press enter. Uh, enter. After that, I will change my directory to git repo the git. And then after after changing my directory to git repo dot git, I will just do git space hyphen hyphen. Um, I mean, just git, git space dash dash bear inet uh, i n i t. After that, it will initialize the empty git repository. Uh, I'm just relaunching the terminal. So virtually, uh, uh, after doing that, um, I was, uh, uh, after doing that, you need, I will exit out of my uh, Linux SSH connection. So I'm just going to get uh, git. Check that git is on your PC. Um, I, uh, and you can see on the internet for how to install it because in this video, I'm not going to show you. Then I'm going to cd uh, uh, to check out in the whole directory. Double, double, it didn't do mkdir git <coughs> mkdir space git so it would, it would make a git uh, file uh, in the home directory then I would do mkdir uh, wait I, I, I'm going to have to change directory to git uh, and eventually uh, do a git repo dot git in the, the git directory so yeah, actually, I did a mistake, so I was just in the word. So I'm going to cd uh, git, and then the, I will do mkdir git repo dot git. So um, I'm going to do that. Uh, after, after uh, so I'm, I'll just wait. Uh, then I will create the directory. Then I have to uh, change my directory to git repo dot git, and uh, I'm in git repo dot git. So eventually, now I had to do git. INIT, it will initialize the empty git repository again. Then I will do, uh, I will, uh, 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 then I, I actually going to, uh, I'm going to just redo it. So I could just launch the terminal again. So I was doing a fresh recording. So uh, after that, uh, after that, I'm going to change directory to git, then ls, and there is git repo dot git. So just going to see the change my directory git repo that I get again, and virtually after that I'm going to do git uh, uh, commit uh, dash m uh, colon test up uh, space upload colon that's going to be test upload. Uh, apparently uh, there it uh, cannot show it for security reasons or well I, I think so, but virtually uh, actually the file came to the other output uh, the files that. Well, this is just an experiment, but virtually in real life it did come. Uh, you can check it in the history. Uh, you can see uh, in our video on the internet. We'll learn Git. Then I'm going to just do Git remote at origin, and I'm going to do the user at the DNS server uh, colon Git for that Git repo that Git. So, for example, in this case is my IP address, but if you uh, have a DNS, you can do the example DNS 
he uh, didn't do git push origin master and in this case how to type the password um, it SSH automatically so which is just a uh, type of password origin master and which and uh, yeah uh, after that it's uh, it pushed it it's uh, there virtually master master virtually the branch so yeah so eventually uh, 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 after that we're going to uh, do touch uh, I'm going to touch file and I'm going to uh, one that's a test then get add uh, file one and uh, it would add the file one uh, I, uh, I mean it's wasting it's get add space dot enter uh, after that you, you do get commit the dash m then uh, colon this is test uh, this is file one this is just an experiment it would, it would create a bar it would create virtually something that can restore back to you if you do a mistake then the, do do git push origin uh after uh, that virtually um the git push origin just type in your password uh, i uh, i don't know how it works without the ssh server but just type in your password of your computer if you have an ssh server set up uh after that it's just going to count the objects and do all that stuff and you're done typical uh, with that part so, so subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with other friends on the internet. Check out my last video and check me out at, at, in, at Twitter at Krishidasmat. So this is a Krishidas lesson. So 2015 by Krishidas. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.